In this video, I am going to discuss about false definition and terminologies. False is a wave-like bends are formed in the crustal rocks due to compression resulting from horizontal endogenetic movements of the earth. So, say this is a crust. In this crust, due to compression from both the side or from single side, it starts bending like this. This is called fold. Some terminologies, anticlines. This is upfolded rock strata in arc-like form. So they are anticlines. Say so this one is the downfolded rock strata in trough-like form. This is syncline. This is anticline. This is syncline. Anticlinorium. It's a fan fold folded. It's, it's also anticlinorium is called as fan fold. It's a folded structures in the regions of the folded mountains with a series of minor anticlines and synclines. See, this is like this. So, this is called anticlinorium. This is called, this is called anticlinorium. So it has a series of folds. It has series of anticlines in this. This is synclinorium. This has a series of synclines here. So this is so this is synclinorium. Folds. This is a mountain fold we can see. So this is the anticline. This is the syncline. So these are the limbs. These are the limbs. These are the limbs of the fold. So these are the types of fold. We have here like symmetrical fold. Both the limbs are in the same shape. Asymmetrical. It is not in the same shape. Overturned and recumbent. So types of folds let us see here. Symmetrical folds. They are regular but it is very rare to see. Asymmetrical folds. Unequal and irregular monoclinal folds because it's mono which means only one limb is regular the other limb is with a steep vertical so like this isoclinal vertical slope sleep vertical slope a monoclinal monoclinal fold will have a regular limb this is the regular limb this is the steep vertical limb isoclinal folds they are iso means same so they are parallel but not horizontal. Recumbent folds, they are like this. They are like this. They are horizontal but isoclinal. So they are parallel but they are not horizontal. Like this or like this. But recumbent will be horizontal in shape. Overturned folds, one limb of the fold is thrust upon another fold. So this is overturned. And plunge folds forms plunge angle between axis and horizontal plane. Fan folds. So axis, how we have, we have to, this is, the, this is the horizontal plane. Say this is the limb. This is the so with this horizontal plane how much angle it is going to make so say this is 60 degrees this is going to be the dip with the horizontal plane how much angle is going to make that is going to be the dip we call it as dip fan folds so fan folds will have anticlinorium as well as synclinorium so we can call it as anticlinorium or synclinorium Open fold, open fold will have with angle between 90 and 180 degrees. So, so wide angle. So why wide angle? But closed will have acute angle. So the angle is very acute. So these are types of folds. And next naps. So they are the result of complex folding mechanism caused by intense horizontal movement due to compressive force. So compression either it could be one side or both the side because of that the folding mechanism horizontal. 
so if suppose a full intensive folding mechanism so a complex folding mechanism caused by intense so the com it's a continuous horizontal movement takes place like this so due to this compressive force this folding mechanism occurs increase in compressive force leads to overriding of other fold if the thrust is more and loss of elasticity will lead to break in the limbs of the folds so if the fold is like this so the fold is like this the compression force is more when it increases here the elastic elasticity which it has it might lose its elasticity elasticity and it might break the fold and continued horizontal movement and compressive force will throw away the fold up to several kilometer so that it can push the fold like this or it can push the fold like this to up to several kilometers such broken limb of limb of the fold is called nape so nape is formed because of its nape is formed because of the continuous intensive compressive force continuous intensive compressive force this horizontal movement breaks the fold and it displaces the fold this is this displaced limb is called nape 